Minasan, konnichiwa, sukushi toke, yokoso. Today we are at Nakonobu for the Nakonobu Nebuta Festival, and this is in conjunction with the Nebuta Festival in Aomori. So this festival has been going since 1989, and I was quite surprised to find such a famous festival in such a small, quiet area of Tokyo. I am so excited to check it out. This festival has actually been on hold for the last four years. The last time they had this festival was in 2018. So today will be the first time since then that the festival is happening. Anyway, if you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get into it. So today there's going to be around five different floats and you can see some of them behind me here. In the daylight they're already impressive but they get even better at night when they light up which is going to look incredible. There are also a lot of haneko behind me or dancers and I am super excited to see those too because I don't think I've really ever seen too many traditional Japanese dancers before so I am so ready for that to happen. So let's check it out. So no festival is complete without some festival food and I got some chikua here which is one of my absolute favorite things so I cannot wait to try it. Itadakimasu. This is perfect. The chikua is lovely and chunky and the nori on the outside is crispy and salty. It's honestly perfect. So everybody is waiting for it to start and you can feel the anticipation in the air and it's kind of making me nervous because you can feel that everybody's excited and everybody's waiting and we're just waiting for that moment where it officially begins and it's kind of making my heart race a little bit. I'm so excited. <laughs> because this event hasn't happened in the last four years, you can really feel that the locals have been waiting for a long time. It's really amazing to be here. I can constantly hear the sound of bells because all of the dancers have bells attached to them and you can just hear it everywhere. All that's left to do now is wait until it starts. There's so many people now. You can hear the music in the distance so I think it's literally about to start. It's not moving straight down, it's kind of weaving around like a snake. It's really cool. It's coming.
the last float is approaching now and it's the biggest one and it looks impressive I, it's really really incredible it's huge this, this is so big and there's so much detail in it as well it's amazing So that was a truly an incredible experience. I don't know how much you could hear of me because it was so loud, but the whole time I was wondering how heavy those floats must be. And everybody working here must have been so hot and they were working so hard, but it was worth it. It was really, really spectacular. And the whole experience took my breath away. It was incredible. I also met some really, really lovely people here today. Whilst we were watching the display, there was a gentleman stood next to us who I think lives in this area and he was telling us all kinds of information there was a lovely lady that gave me some bells that I will treasure forever and earlier on in the day we met another lady who was telling us more about the area and she wanted to talk to us and get to know us I've been truly blown away by this experience it's things like this that make me really appreciate living in Japan and just Japan in general everybody here is so nice and so friendly and I love these traditional events I think they're so important and I feel so lucky to be able to experience them but anyway that is the end of today's video you guys I would love to hear your thoughts have you been to this festival before have you been to the one in Aomori I would love to hear all about it in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye